What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is July 19th, Barrow's first visit back since after Tenocon, and let's jump into it. All right, so as we can see, we're gonna do the same as we did uh, in the previous ones. We're gonna go over PC first, followed by Xbox after on PC this week. He is on Mercury. Um, and if it sounds like I'm a little congested, it's because I got the I, I got a little con crud from Tenocon. So so bear with me if it sounds real bad. I'll try and be uh, I'll try and be as least possible. So here's your quick overview scroll on the PC this week. Moving into the mods, he's got the entire electricity dual stat mod set, the 6060s for every single piece, primed quick draw, and a primed heavy trauma. The must buys I would say out of this, if you don't have them, obviously are the elemental mods. Um, the most important ones, uh, actually there's no most important ones, but uh, the thing I do want to note is the high voltage for rifle and the shell shock for shotgun. These two you can actually farm for on the Hive missions on Eris. So you have to open all the Hive caches, all three of them, you gotta find them and do all the Hive mission, like pop all the Hives and then complete the mission. So it is slightly time consuming, but there's a chance to get these um, out of the out of the, the sabotage caches, out of those Hive caches. The Voltaic Strike for Melee and Jolt unfortunately do not drop, so if you don't have these, buy these. Prime Heavy Trauma, it's it's nice to have if you have extra ducats, but again, it's it's a it's the impact melee mod. Um, you can use this in conjunction with the other melee impact mod, which is great. You can put a whole lot of impact on your melee weapon. But I mean, right now I feel that elementals are just straight better. Uh, I hardly use any any um, of the base three impact puncture or uh, slash. So. Uh, moving on, let's go. We've got the Quanta skin, Nido, the Katir Dyax, Cyandana, and the entire Katir Foros uh, armor set. So the shoulders, the chest, and the legs. The Pyra Sugatra, which is pretty awesome. It's it's fire. You put it on your melee weapons. Looks cool. If you don't have it, pick it up. It's pretty neat. He also has the Tigris Exilus and the Sonicor Exilus skins. So if you uh, like the Sonicor and you love the Tigris and you don't have skins for them and you want them to look freaking awesome, pick these up. He also has a Katir Atmos Ditem, which is cool because then you can put it on your operator and then you got a little Katiri Diamond coming out of his head. Look, look at that, Katir Diamond coming out of his head. Don't mind my spider, you know, my tarantula haircut. This is just my operator, okay? Moving on to weapons, he's got the Prova Vandal and the Quanta Vandal this week. Quanta Vandal's pretty fun, it's pretty awesome, it shoots geometry. Prova Vandal is also, uh, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's not the strongest thing in the world, but if you've always wanted to be a Corpus Crewman, boom, there you go, pick it up. You can be a Corpus Crewman to your heart's desire. Please note that the, uh, the Mastery Rank requirements on the Prova is Mastery Rank 3 and the Quanta is 10. Miscellaneous stuff, so this is where, uh, as far as I know, K Barrow brought us something new this week. He brought the bronze Kavat busts. Good thing they zoomed it way out for me, so it's difficult to see. But if you picked up the bronze Kubro bust a few weeks ago, now you can have the full set on your landing craft look real nice. He also has the Scimitar Sidonia, the Lisette Prisma skin for your landing crafts, as well as a poster and a Barrow Katir glyph. And let's not forget the Eminence color palette. This is, this is a must buy. <laughs> you gotta get it. I, I'm a fan of having all the color palettes and this one's fantastic. It's got this really nice se selection of light blues I use on a lot of frames. You, you know, if, if, if you know the bonfire colors, you, you know I, I use that second row right there a lot. And he's got some, there's a lot of great purples too. Anything from really bright stuff, lotusy stuff to uh, some more tamed down things. And of course the Corrupted Bombard and the Sands of Manaus thing. So to wrap up PC, mm, this week I would say must buys are the entire uh, electricity dual stat set, the 6060s. If you don't have any of them and you want to farm, you can farm for Shell Shock and High Voltage only. You must buy Jolt and Voltaic Strike or trade for them from somebody else. Prime Heavy Trauma is a meh if you're feeling it and um, I would say definitely buy the Eminence color palette and the Pyra Sugatra weapons are if you feel like it as well. All right, moving on. 
Xbox. All right, so now we're over here on the Xbox, and Barrow Kateer is on Venus this week. I think I got that right. PC, Mercury, Xbox, Hi, Venus. Hello. Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> so here's your overview, your quick overview of what he's carrying on consoles this week. Moving on to the mods, let's get things started. He's got the entire Prime Bane set. Pretty cool. Corrupted, Grenier, Corpus, and Infested. Pretty nice. Again, as I said in the past, I'm not a fan of Banes. He also brought us the Prime Charge Shell for shotguns. <clears throat> if you love shotguns as much as I do, you'll pick it up. You may not use it a lot, except for all the time, or some of the time, okay? But definitely, it, come on, it's a Prime mod for a shotgun. What, it, just, just buy it. Just buy it. Moving on to appearance, he's got quite the uh, quite the arrangement today. He's got the Dirija Desert Camo Skin, so you can make your Dirija that I'm sure everybody's using. Uh, neat, neat looking. He's got the Zephyr Immortal Skin, so you can make your Zephyr Prime look just the most fancy. Uh, the entire EOS armor set. I don't know why they don't put those in one bundle, but uh, these ones are pretty cool. Uh, they, they've got that, that Prisma-y kind of, here, I'll show you. They've kind of got a really cool energy looking effect going on. Look at that. Mm, look at that. Look at that yellow. All right, if they weren't yellow, you, you, you can color that. You get the idea. You can color it your own one. The regular Katir Sandana, that's the one that kind of looks like the snake skin. It's got all the little, little circles on it. The Prisma Sigil, which is neat. And then a couple earpieces. So you got the earpiece and then the Katir Solo earpiece. Oh my gosh, if you like fashion for your operator, that's all you. Moving on to weapons, he's got the Prisma Veritux for Arcwing, as well as the Prisma Angstrom. So you can blow shit up. Oh, shoot. I said shoot. <clears throat> right. Anyways, uh, Prisma Veritux is, is pretty neat for Arcwing. It's an upgraded version of the regular Veritux. It's a big A sword. And uh, the Prisma Angstrom, a lot of blast damage, makes things go boom. Mastery rank 8 required for the Angstrom, and nothing for the Prisma Veritux. So if you like Arcwing and you want to prepare for the upcoming, you know, Barreljack or Empyrean, you, uh, maybe, maybe think about it. Maybe think about it. Moving on to miscellaneous. Oh, what the f Okay, <laughs> there's the entire uh, EOS Prime armor set. I don't know why this is in miscellaneous and not sitting over here with the rest of them. Confused to me too. I know, there it is, they actually had it. He also has the Prisma Kabat and Kubro uh, glyphs, which are pretty awesome. I like that, I like that art style. I like that fractals looking geometry shit. Looks really cool. The Lizette Sidonia skin, so you can look like uh, Sands of Anaros. It's really cool. Three day resource booster if you want to farm some stuff. And Stalker Beacons if you want to farm some stuff. So, to round out the Xbox, let's see. Mmm. Must buys this week? None. No must buys. I. I. Y you guys buy whatever you're feeling like. I suggest the prime charge shell but it's not a must buy it's you know a convenience mod gives you a bunch of extra damage for shotguns but if you're not a shotgun user you won't be picking this up other than that uh the prisma veritux is great for arcwing which you use probably rarely right now and then the prisma angstrom is just a blast one shot in the magazine type of thing at least i think so anyways not my cup of tea but uh, you know, if you're if you're if you're grinding mastery rank, maybe perhaps see if it's worth 475 ducats to you. Uh, and other than that, that's that's pretty much it. That's gonna that's gonna round out our Barrow Katir rundown uh, this week, uh, July 19th. If you guys did have an awesome time enjoying checking out all this stuff with me, be sure to like the video, get subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.